I got tired all of a sudden. So I decided to recommend romance novels to you because I read a I don't want to say a lot of romance novels, but I do read a good amount of romance novels and I enjoy the genre and I thought that I would share some books that if you're into romance novels or you aren't and you're interested in starting to get into it, then maybe these would interest you. So I'm going to give you five romance novels that I've read and liked and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with one of the series that I... When I think of romance novels, I immediately think of two different series that I absolutely love. And the first series that I love is Karen Marie Moaning's The Highlander series. So the series is Time Travel Paranormal Romance. Um, and I think of this series because it's so unique from everything, from other books that I've read, especially romance novels. I love it so much. Um, <clears throat> The series deals with different characters, but the main part of it, it starts off with um, these three friends. There are eight different um, Highlander books, so um, you do get to see some of the uh, characters that you already knew from previous ones and the other ones, but they're not all in every single one. The guys that are featured in all the stories are Highlanders who um, some way or other time travel and um, have Celtic druid power running through their veins. Um, it's, it's really different from every other romance novel I've ever read. And I don't know, it's like, it's great. Like it's hard to explain, but um, so you're into like druids and magic and romance and time traveling, then I think this would be a good series for you to check out. I think it's really good. All right, so the next book series that I absolutely loved Beyond a Doubt is probably one of my favorite, besides the Highlander series, one of my favorite romance series, and it's the Wallflower series by Lisa Claypass, I think that's her name, um, and I absolutely love it. Um, I think they're historical romances, if I'm correct, and the book series I think has about, I think there's five books, and it deals with four young girls who enter London society, um, and who are intent on getting husbands for themselves and they find that the best way to secure husbands for themselves is to look out for each other and they kind of form this un this bond um, being that they're all wallflowers for different reasons and it's really nice because you get a lot of the romance novels usually it's just heavily on the romance and not so much with the friend side of it but the wallflower series has that friend element because they're all looking out for each other and they have a really close bond even though they meet in the first book and then you also get that romance element also into it so I think that's really nice it's a different kind of um, there are different kind of romance novels and then also it's nice that you get a series with them because they're featured in each other's series and it's just cool that you get to see like you know the couple that hooks that gets you know together in the first book you get to see how their relationship is in like the third book um i don't know it's really nice um yeah so if you're into like that kind of lightheartedness i would say that it's almost like sisterhood of the traveling pants but more romance in it and historical <laughs> and them being set in a historical time yeah Okay, so the next book I'm going to recommend to you, it's actually a book. It's not a series, I don't think. Um, and it's this, Mistress by Amanda Quick. <laughs> and I remember reading this and I thought when I was going over like the books that I was going to use for the video, I read the back of some of them because I just don't remember a lot of these books. But this is one of the books that I remember. Um, and it deals with this, uh, the main character is if Figmia Bright. And she ends up going undercover to find out who is blackmailing her aunt. And she goes undercover as a mistress to this guy. And she's not his real mistress in every sense of the word. She's just pretending to be. So um, she ends up posing as the mistress to the Earl of Masters who is this guy that no one has seen for a really long time he's like disappeared and she thinks that that would be the easiest way to go undercover as somebody's uh, mistress when the guy doesn't actually exist no one's seen him and um the only thing is that he actually does end up turning out he <laughs> ends up turning up and comes to find out that he supposedly has a mistress which of course 
makes a funny situation there and then you know the romance and scandal and all that stuff happens and um you also have to deal with her finding out who the blackmailer who's blackmailing her aunt and you know with every romance novel there's always going to be conflict and there's going to be resolution and there's going to be love and all that stuff but i thought it was hilarious because she thought she was being sneaky by being a mistress but it doesn't work out for her the next book i'm going to recommend to you is her only desire by galen foley and this is another book that I remember reading, um, mainly because it doesn't take place in England. The book takes place in India, which is very different from most of the books that I read. They're usually historical fiction that, you know, takes place in England. Um, and this one is in English, um, it's in India. And the main character is Georgina Knight. Um, she's born into a wealthy family, uh, wealthy, a wealthy British family in India. Um, and... She is a female character who's very strong-willed and doesn't want to marry any man that someone's going to choose for her. She wants to, the only way that she will marry someone is if they treat her like an equal and see her as, you know, a strong individual. And so she ends up meeting this guy um, called Ian Prescott. He's the Marquis of uh, Griffith. He arrives to India on a mission. He has a secret top, a top secret mission that he has to do that she doesn't know about, but um, she ends up getting entangled in it while there's like a kind of like a war brewing and he has to try and keep his secret safe, but then also keep her safe and they fall for each other and as usual every romance novel something's gonna happen but they're gonna end up together and I just think it was really interesting because it was just a different setting um yes yeah, so I remembered vividly a lot of the stuff that the writer wrote and described um yeah okay the, na um, the last book that I'm gonna recommend to you guys is this one The Duke's Indiscretion by Adele Ashworth and this is another one that I crack up because I remember it when I remember when I read the um, summary of it. And it has to do with I really remember this book because it's about this girl, Lady Charlotte Hughes, and she's living a double life. By day, she's this quiet, shy, respectful um, sister to a brother who's super controlling and egotistical. Just domineering in general. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> and then by night, she's a opera singer who calls herself Lottie. Um, and she ends up falling for this guy called um, Colin Ramsey. And he also ends up liking her and ends up discovering what her true identity is, which makes it really awkward because she is a... <laughs> she is you know, uh, part of polite society and they're gonna run into each other and they became, it becomes this whole big thing. All right, so those are all the romance novels that I have to recommend for you guys. Um, yeah, so I will list below in the down bar um, the books that I mentioned and where you can find me and I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye!